Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to add and subtract complex numbers. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. So what is a complex number? Okay, it really comes down to this little definition. I squared is equal to negative one. Okay, well, where, where does that come from? Well, if I take the square root of both sides, I have I equals the square root of negative one. And we know that we can't do that in mathematics, but we can if we talk about complex numbers. We can, we label that as I, okay? So complex numbers have two parts. They have a real part and an imaginary part, okay? So the definition here for imaginary and complex numbers are as such. A complex number is a number of the form a plus bi, where a is the real part of the complex number, b is the imaginary part of the complex number. If b equals zero, then a plus bi is a real number. If a equals zero and b is not equal to zero, the complex number is called a pure imaginary number. An imaginary number is an even root of a negative number. Okay? All right. So what can we do here? Write this for our first example here. Okay. I'm going to write this number in standard form. Okay? So we want to express the square root of negative 9 in standard form. Okay? Well, we know the square root of negative 9 is the same thing as the square root of 9 times the square root of negative 1. All right? And, well, the square root of 9 we know is 3. And from what we learned earlier, the square root of negative 1 we can write as i. And so, in standard form, we would write this as 0 plus 3i. The a value there would be 0, and the b value is a 3. Okay, so be 0 plus 3i. Okay, now what about plotting points, right? If we have numbers, should we be able to plot them? Well, we have what we call the complex plane. Okay, so if I make a little, almost just looks like a Cartesian plane. Okay, and what we have here is our real numbers, and then for the x axis and the y axis is going to be our imaginary numbers. So if we wanted to plot, let's say, negative 2 plus 3i here, all right, we would plot it as part of a mix of the real plane, a real line, a real axis, an imaginary axis. So if we just had quickly 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, let's keep it easy, and 1, 2, 3, all right. Our negative 2 plus 3i, negative 2 will refer to the real number, so we would go over here to negative 2 from the origin, okay? So we would go over the right 2, or left 2, sorry, and then the 3i would go up 3i values on the i, right, the i axis. So we would go up 3 right here, and that would be our point that we're looking for, negative 2 plus 3i. Okay, so again, we have our real and our imaginary axis, okay, or axes. Okay, so let's go plot another point here. All right, number two, kind of telling us we want to get 3 minus 4i. Let's go plot that, okay? All right, well, let's go bring this down a little more here. So 3 minus 4i, how can I plot that? Well. I'm 3 on my real axis, and then a minus 4i on my y, or my <laughs> imaginary axis, and that point here will be represented as 3, oops, need to erase there. One second, let's do it again. So we have 3 minus 4i, there, okay? All right. Now we know what imaginary numbers are, complex numbers, and we've plotted them. Let's go add and subtract them, okay? All right, so there's a few, few rules we're going to talk about here for adding complex numbers and subtracting complex numbers, okay? When we add complex numbers, we know that a plus bi plus c plus di is equal to 
a plus c plus b plus d times i. And subtracting is very similar. a plus bi minus c plus di is equal to a minus c plus b minus d times i. All right, so let's go through two examples here. One for adding and one for subtracting. So a, we're gonna deal with adding here. We have three minus four i plus two plus five i. So we kind of want to add the real numbers first and then the imagined number, numbers or imaginary part together. So let's rearrange this. All right, we have three plus two comes first, plus we have negative four i and then plus the five i. So all I'm doing here is just rearranging each one of these parts, okay? Three's here, two, negative four i, and five i right there. Now we can easily combine our like terms. Our first two parts, three plus two is five, plus negative four i plus a five i. We, net, we add the negative four plus five, which is a one. A one i, don't need to write that really. We just read the i, and we're done. We added those two together. So let's try a subtraction here, okay? We have negative five plus seven i minus negative 11 plus two i, okay? Again, let's go rearrange. Let's put our like terms really kind of together. Negative five and a negative 11. Now be careful here where we have a minus and negative, right? So let's distribute that actually right now plus a positive, and that becomes a negative there. So we have negative five plus 11 plus the seven i comes down plus the negative two i here, okay? So we have negative five plus 11, and that's gonna come out to be a six. And then we have seven i plus a negative two i, which is a positive five i. Okay, and I'm kind of combining the two steps. Uh, some people say separate the seven and the two first, do that and then combine it with the i. I'm just kind of doing it as such. So here our second answer is just six plus five i. So I hope you learned something here on how to well plot imaginary numbers and what imaginary numbers are and complex numbers are. But we also learned how to add and subtract complex numbers. If so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com.